I pray that nobody here knows this kind of pain, this pain of losing a child. I am totally convinced that this is the worst pain that a human being could ever encounter in a life, is to lose a child. You all are loved beyond belief. And he found out that her friends and her thought it would be funny for her to pretend to like him online and get him to share and say very personal stuff, which she copied and pasted into other IMs and sent them around for a good laugh at his expense. I can't imagine the pain, the humiliation he must have felt as he stood there and these girls laughed at him. <laughs> the group that we need to reach first and foremost is the bystanders. The group that stood there and laughed, that let this happen to begin with. The group that was too scared to step in and say, hey, this isn't right. I want every young person in this room that is not a bully and not bullied, but a bystander, to make a commitment that from this point on, for the rest of your life, you're not gonna just stand by and laugh or let this happen. You, as a group, have the most power in this school to turn this school around and make it the best school that a young person could possibly ever go to. I can't stress enough to you guys um, what a terrible mistake my son made. And I pray that any young person in this audience that feels the way Brian felt, that you give life a chance. I promise you things work out in the long run. You haven't lived long enough to know that this is such a short period of your life. I promise you, when you get up to 30, 40, 50, you look back, this is only two, three years out of your life. Sure, it might have been a hellhole, but it's not forever. And things do get better if you give it a chance. And uh, I, just, I just hope that you guys have the courage to step forward and ask for help when you ever feel the way Ryan felt. Please don't ever forget Ryan's story and the fragility of adolescence. Oh, 
take me back to the start.